This is Elizabeth Street, once the hub of electronic retailing in Melbourne. For several decades, electronic enthusiasts could buy almost all parts necessary to build their project, or radio amateurs to assemble their station. I'll show you some advertisements from the establishments that traded. Then, in 2015, I'll visit those addresses to see if they're still there and what's in them today. 50 years ago, occupied by hi-fi retailer Simon Gray. They sold one of the first videotape machines and cameras available to the consumer. The building now houses a vegetarian restaurant and college. And number 94 was occupied by Modern Electronics in the 1970s. I don't think they were in business for very long because I didn't see their advertisements in later issues of magazines. Upstairs is a model shop with die-cast cars available. Before the internet, we got our information from Electronics Australia or the occasional book purchased from a place like McGill's News Agency. In 1964, they occupied these premises at 183 Elizabeth Street. They'd move next door to 187 Elizabeth Street. The high end of Elizabeth Street has some interesting looking shops, notebooks, notebooks again, Aussie disposals and JB Hi-Fi. But this was also at one time the epicentre of radio and electronic shops. Two on my list were Home Crafts at 307 and Ham Radio Supplies at 323. At 307 Elizabeth Street was Home Crafts. They were still trading in the 1960s and sold electronic components for radio. A few doors from home crafts was ham radio supplies, now Mars Leather. That was at 323 Elizabeth Street and had a large range of ham radio equipment. This is all new building now, but 428 to 430 Elizabeth Street was where William Willis used to be based. William Willis was a well known supplier of radio equipment and components, particularly pre round coils that were used in antenna couplers and linear amplifiers. William Willis was still trading in the 1980s, but by that time had moved to the eastern suburb. At 547 Elizabeth Street was Master Electrics, sellers of a range of electronic components. These days it's a karaoke bar. Two eighty eight Queen Street, now a cafe, but in the late nineteen eighties, an important address for many radio amateurs. Emtronics was a rapidly expanding amateur radio outlet, opening up stores outside its Sydney headquarters. The principal of Emtronics was most well known for his high power amplifiers and antenna couplers. 
unlike most of the other electronics stores where I just had a dress, I've actually got a photo of Mtronics profiled in the January 1986 copy of Amateur Radio magazine when it first opened. 30 years on, you can still recognise the building from the shape of the doorways and windows. Today, it's an Asian restaurant and bar. Around here, at 295 Swanston, was the technical book and magazine company. It's an old building up top, but underneath it's been completely redone into a restaurant. The company traded for many years. It eventually moved to a less prominent location and shortly after closed down. 